Hi guys and welcome to another squad builder by myself Bateson87. Now this one's, it's basically a Serie A team, Serie A silver team, but with an extra added bonus onto it. And I will show you that uh, near, well, when we get to the left mid, pos left mid position really. So, first things first, remember to check out FIFA Coins Online for your Ultimate Team Coins. Their link to the Facebook is down below. Make sure you drop it a like. Right, let's do this. Let's build this Serie A silver team with the bonus, so I may as well just set up the parameters, and um, the main reason I come to build this was because I was able to acquire the uh, Man of the Match card, which you will see at the top, so we have got Inform Pugione, this may be an awkward squad builder, just because of the names of the players, um, because I can't say them, I think, we'll have to wait and see anyway, so the first centre back directly in the middle is going to be Juan, the um, I'd, I'd rate him as the best centre back in this in the uh, Serie A silver uh, department. Uh, well, all three of these are on the left. You've got Velasquez, and then you've got uh, Santa Croce, Santa Croce uh, on the right as well. So them three, all of them are non-rare, but all of them are the best players on uh, in the Serie A. Really, I wouldn't rate any more centre backs other than them. The first CDM on the left is going to be Argentinian. Now you can have Isco or you can have Farlin. Currently he plays for QPR as well. I think he, uh, there's a card version of him. But you do need this version if you want to hybridise it up, which is what we've done. So we've got Velasquez and um, Farlin there who will let us link up with the le left midfield who isn't there. He is in the BBVA and it's in form Piatti. So the reason we put him in the team is because I don't really rate any decent right mids, left mids, sorry, from the Serie A. So we have put him in there to, uh, well, see what he's like. And he was pretty good compared to, uh, I can't remember who it was. Let's let's have a look who, who the uh, Serie A silver left mid was. And it was Verdi. I don't really rate Verdi. He's got pace, but he doesn't really have much else. So, that's a little added bonus I put in there. So back to the right mid in the Serie uh, right mid, the other CDM in the uh, in the Serie, and it's Inform Pogba. Now there is a gold version of him, there is a non-rare version of him. Uh, if you want to get the normal versions of these cards, do it because it will shave a lot of money off. Especially that Pogba, he is worth a fuckload. He's not worth that much now though, I don't think, uh, but it will shave a lot of money off. The right midfield is Stevanovic. I think that's how you say his name. I may be wrong. There is loads of alternatives there, but he is the highest rated right mid uh, to put in there. In the cam position, we have Kone. Now, he is an inform. You could, if you wanted to... Ch I'll tell you the alternatives if you want to cheap this team up. You can get the normal Pogba there. You can get uh, Neto there. He'll get a, a better link with Juan as well. You can get the normal Piatti there if you want, or any other Argentinian left mid. If you want to replace Kone with Pasquato, that would work as well. So moving up into the strikers, we have uh, Medjorini. I think that's how you say his name. He's an inform. Now both of these strikers are quite tall, six foot with him. And then we've got man of, man of the match, Gabi Gabiadini. He is worth a lot of money. A really rare card, uh, and we were fortunate enough to get loaned him. So with these two strikers, both of them are quite tall, and I struggled to do groundwork with them up front. I was basically forced to cross a hell of a lot, <laughs> which is quite a rare game for me. We was we were talking about. How sweaty pass it, sweating, uh, tramping the ball was seen as really sweaty, but not really crossing. Crossing isn't deemed as a bad thing, is it really? But uh, we did cross a lot to these guys, especially with Gabby Adina. I think he's taller, six foot one, yeah. Um, his pace is 84, didn't really feel like it. Shooting 73, didn't really feel like that either. Um, three star skills as well, but quite a tidy little player, decent heading, and uh, likewise with uh, his partner, Mejorini. So if you wanted to replace these two to make a decent team, you could have Sal and uh, I don't know who else would you put up front in the Serie A. You'd probably get the non-rare version of that guy if you wanted to. Little and large, Sal super fast and him super tall uh, with his decent stats. I think he's a non-rare card as well, non-rare silver card. Uh, so guys, that is the team built. I'm now going to show you some highlights of the games I did play in the Silver Cup, plus I did have to resort to uh, playing stream viewers because of the simple fact that the silver cup is very hard to find an opponent especially if we get later on into the uh, into the uh, tournament especially like semi-finals and stuff you're there for a few minutes trying to find a find an opponent right guys i'll be back in a sec 
Right, we're back, and these are the highlights of the few games we did play. I think we played like five, six, or seven games. I'm not 100 sure. Uh, but that man of the match striker, I don't want to say his name because I will fuck it up severely. Uh, Gabbiadini. His left peg is a lot better than I thought it was originally. Uh, we did have to cross a lot, but that was a bit of a shame. Uh, but apart from that, he was a decent little player. I wouldn't rate him nine out of nine point five out of ten though, and then list him for five million. I just would not would not do that. Didn't rate him uh, rate him that well. But for a tall striker, he's, he's a lot better than Peter Crouch. Peter Crouch is just an absolute terrible player in the game. So moving on to the other players, talk about them a little bit. Coney. Bit of a letdown at Cam, uh, really. I'm not sure in his original position. Uh, in form, P.I. He was really good. Real decent flair player. The defence, absolutely solid with uh, Juan uh, Velasquez, Santa Croque. Even the keeper. Didn't really notice much from the keeper, to be honest. But then again, who is a decent Serie A silver goalkeeper? I don't really rate any. I don't even rate any silver goalkeepers, really. They're not really overpowered uh, or anything like that. The right mid, um, that... Slovakian is he? Slovakian. He he was not he was okay for his price, only about two K. So if you wanted to get this team, it'd cost you well over a million coins, uh, to be honest. But if you wanted to shave it off and shave uh change a few players over, you get it for about 30, 40 K, uh, depending on what time you buy in the players. So we did score some nice goals against our opponents. Uh, a nice delicate lob there from Gabbiadini. Um would I recommend buying this team? Probably with different strikers. The midfield was solid. The defence was solid. Just the strikers. I like a little and large striker partnership. What do you lot prefer as your strike partnership? Do you prefer a little and large or two little fast strikers or two tall ones like we had in that game? I find it very difficult to play against. We did get a nice bit of link up there. and He's got a tidy little finish on his right peg. Um... But yeah, with Gabbiadini, make sure you shoot with his left. If you shoot with his right, it'll be horrendous. Really horrendous, as you did find... Uh I did find out on my stream so guys that is the squad builder done if you have enjoyed it remember to drop a like if you uh, not subscribed remember to subscribe and remember to comment in the section below about what been asking also remember to check out FIFA coins online for your ultimate team coin needs their link is in the description and uh, yeah until next time see you later